Now to campaign 2020 and election office phones are ringing off the hook because of a letter the Secretary of State's office sent out this week. It has people worried about the status of their vote by mail application. Tonight, CBS 2's Tara Molina is getting to the bottom of that confusion. Like so many others, this is how Janet Campbell plans to vote. And she's already submitted her vote by mail application. So when she got a letter indicating she didn't, you have not yet applied for a ballot. She told me she panicked. Look, between the mail or who knows what, now I'm not going to be able to vote. For more reasons than one. Because I'm afraid that this election is going to be so fraught with all these problems. Telling me she was relieved immediately after calling her local election authority. He was able to tell me that both my husband and I are going to receive our ballots. But Janet isn't alone. CBS 2 heard from others with the exact same concerns. I reached out to the Illinois State Board of Elections and the Secretary of State's office to see why people who've already submitted their vote by mail applications are getting these. A spokesperson told me the letters were sent to anyone who had not returned their application by August 26th, leaving a weeks long gap in the information reported to the Secretary of State's office. They say roughly 700,000 applications have been received since they reported that information. Applications like Janet's. Anybody that got that letter, if they've already sent in for their ballot, they're going to get it. And if they haven't, they still have time to. A spokesperson for the Secretary of State's office told me they're required to send out another letter by October 15th. Again, these letters are only a reminder. If you don't want to vote by mail, you can ignore them. We put more information directly from the Board of Elections in this story on our website right now. Reporting outside the Thompson Center tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. We produce this story in part with the help of our friends at Election Land, a project of the nonprofit news organization ProPublica. If you're having trouble voting, Election Land wants to hear your story. We have information on how to contact them on our website, cbschicago.com.